Okay, we're going to use the concept we talked about in the previous video uh, to do this one. So in the previous video we talked about how you actually do the subtraction of uh, angles, which again this is the same thing as adding the opposite. Now in the other video we didn't really have any kind of scale or any way of really knowing how long the angle is. We just had to kind of just give a rough sketch of it. Well now we actually are given uh, a grid system that tells us exactly how long each of these arrows are and also uh, what angle they're going at because we have a kind of a slope. So in other words, this one right here, this V, it's going to go, the arrowhead is right here and so it's saying it's when it, when you, wherever you started from, we're always going to go three places to the right and up two units. So when I recreate and draw it on this grid that's provided here, so again these type of questions they usually will give you some kind of grid uh, that you can draw it in or otherwise you can get some uh, grid paper to do it. Um, but given this, we have to make our, our vectors reflect what we see here. So in other words, if whenever we're drawing V on our grid here, we always have to go three places to the right and up two units. The W, wherever we start, we're always going to go down two units and two to the right. That's what's given. So again, this, these, this kind of problems, this is given to you. This one, you go one to the right and you go up three units. So this is all provided uh, and given to us uh, for this particular one. Now we're going to use this concept and we're going to redraw this on this grid that's provided. So uh, I can basically start this anywhere, but really what will happen is I'm taking V, I'm going to draw it out that way, and then I have to add it to a negative W. Now remember, the negative W, you're reversing the arrowhead. So in a rough sketch, I got something going like this, and I have a negative W is going to look like that. So I want to put this together. And again, it doesn't really matter how I draw that. I'm going to start, start out with V and I'm going to do that down here. And I need to make it match the drawing that I have here. So again, you can start it anywhere in the grid. It doesn't matter as long as, because the result's going to be the same. I'm going to start it right here. I'm going to go three places to the right and up two units. So I'm drawing the V right here. Again, this must match the original drawing here. So it has to go over 3 up 2 because that's what the original drawing does. I'm doing exactly the same thing down here, over 3 up 2. Then I'm adding negative W. Now I can go ahead and add this one and put it directly on here because I'm adding these together by tip to tail. So I'm, it's okay for me to take this one and put it directly on top of that one. So I'm going to put it right here. Now I still have a slant going this direction Basically, it goes uh, from here to, to this way and two going up. So from here, I can go to the left and up, and my arrowhead is going to look just like this. This would be the drawing of negative W. Again, I'm using the two and two because that's what the original one does. I'm just reversing the arrowhead, so I'm going to go to the left and up two, and I get that. Now, the answer is going to be drawing it from the starting point uh, to the ending point. So this is the only time I'm allowed to have double arrowheads is when I'm drawing in my answer. I start, I start here's my original starting point. I'm going to draw a line from there to my ending point. So I draw it out like this. And this right here, this one, I'm going to go ahead and kind of darken it in so you can see here, darken it in a little bit better. Okay, so if we darken that in like that with the arrowhead here, that's my final answer. So V V uh, minus W, I can go ahead and label that right here. That's, that's the V minus W. So again, I just drew it on the grid that was provided, and that's my answer. So it doesn't matter where you draw it inside here, or it also doesn't matter if I, if I took this one and put it on top of here. That doesn't matter either. I would get exactly the same result. I'm basically going to go over 1 and up 4. That's what my final answer would be. So I'm just drawing it out pictorially now. Again, with the grid lines, I have to make sure that I draw it according to this that's given here. So I have to make sure it's drawn that way, over 3, up 2, and this one goes down 2, over 2. So I did all that on here. Um, so again, you're following the exact same grid. That's why they give you these, because then that way you have an idea of how to draw them here. So now let's take a look at uh, parts B and C. Okay, part B is 2V plus 3W. We're going to use the same given vectors that we had uh, for part A. Now if you want to draw in 2V, this is what you do. Really you draw one and then you draw another one immediately afterwards. So you would draw 1V, we go over 3 up 2. But then what I would do is I would go over 3 up 2 again. 
and then that would give me a long vector all the way up. That whole thing would be 2v. I would do the same thing for the 3w. Here's 1w. I go down 2 over 2. I'm going to go down 2 over 2 and down 2 over 2 again so you'd have a big long one like that and that would represent uh, 3w. And then we're just going to add them together tip to tail. Now these you can already add tip to tail here so I can just go this direction with v and then down that way uh, with w. So I want to go ahead and draw that in this grid that's provided here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and draw it I'm going to go ahead and start it right here just because I'm going to have to go up and then make sure I have enough space to come back down again with the 3W. So starting here, I'm going to go ahead and draw in uh, the 2V. I'm going to go over 3, up 2. So I get that part, point right there, over 3, up 2. Then I'm going to go over 3, up 2 again and get this one. And so when I draw that in, I get uh, this one. Over 3, up 2, over 3, up 2, and I get this, the ending point is going to be right there. Let me make this a little bit straighter here. There we go. And if we do that, this whole thing is going to be uh, 2v. So what did I do? I, I went ahead and started here. I went over 3, up 2. That's 1v. I did over 3, up 2 again. That's the second v. So the whole thing, that whole thing right there, that's 2v. Now I want to take care of the, the w. So from this point, I'm going to go down 2 over 1, this point. That's 1w. Down 2 over 2, I get this one. There's another W. And down 2 over 2, the third W. So here, right here, that would be 1W. Down there again, that's, that's, that would be 2W. And then one more down here, that would give you the 3W. So this whole thing now is 3W. The arrowhead would go down here. So then you start, it starts here and goes all the way down ends here. Your answer is going to go from here all the way down to here. You're drawing an arrow from the starting point all the way down to here. And that, that answer, that arrowhead that would go down there, that would be 2v plus 3w. So let's draw that one in. Okay, so we're going to do that. And this one right here, that line I connected, that whole thing, that's your answer, 2v plus 3w. So 2v two, two plus 3w would be, again, that whole entire arrow all going down there. And it doesn't matter how you draw it, as long as it fits in the grid, but that would be your final answer. Basically it goes down to and it goes all the way over uh, to here. And that's how we draw part B. So now let's take a look at part C. Okay, for part C, again we're using the same vectors as given before. Now we have three different ones that we're using. So now we're using all three, the V, the W, and the U. Let's draw a quick sketch of what's going to be happening here. Remember that this one here, that's the same thing as adding the opposite. So here is, first of all, I have, I have two V I'm going to draw here. One, there's one V and there's another one, so I have two of those. Then I have negative W, which means that I have this one that I'm adding together. And then I have the U, which looks like this. Now you can add these together anyway, as long as you add them together tip to tail. I'm actually just going to go ahead and add them in order. Because I reversed this one, I can take this one and put it directly on top of there. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out the 2V uh, to start with. So I want to make sure I have enough room to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and start it down here. And I'm going to go over 3, over 3, up 2. So over 3, up 2 to here. And over 3, up 2 to that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. This is going to be my uh, 2V. Next, I want to go ahead and add negative w. I'm going to put that right here. I have to go to the left and up 2. So if I do to the left and up 2, that's this one here. That's negative w. And then to that one, I want to add the u in there. And I can add that one tip the tail as well. I can just go ahead and put that one right on top of the other one. That's going to go over 1, up 2. So over 1, up 2, I get it to, to go away at the top and end right there. And this is going to be my uh, my U, not my V. That's U right here. Okay, and I'm going to draw a line from the starting point to the ending point. So it's going to go from here all the way up to that one. This whole line that I have here, that's 2V minus W uh, plus U. My whole answer is going to be this. So again, it doesn't really matter if you rearrange this. Now, s sometimes, depending on how we rearrange it, you might have actually your final vector crossing over one of the other vectors. That's actually okay to have it drawn that way because even if it does that, 
it's still going to do the same thing. It's still going to go over the same number of boxes and you're still going to go up the same number of boxes if you do that. Depending on how you draw this, you can rearrange it uh, in different ways. I could start with the U for instance and then I could go ahead and add negative W this way and 2V that way and I have something cr kind of crossing over itself. That's okay to do that as well. So again, it, uh, no matter how you redraw it, you could try reordering it in different ways, but no matter what, you should always end up getting the same resultant vector here. You'll get the final result. So it doesn't really matter what path you take. If, it, if you have to cross over itself, that's okay as well. But this is going to end up being your final answer, 2V minus W uh, plus U. We've taken a look now, we've done, this whole example was involving adding vectors together pictorially. So it's basically using some kind of a grid system and you're adding that together. Now instead of doing it this way, we're now going to be starting to go into problems that deal with adding vectors algebraically. And that's going to be basically be involving, um, given, you'll be given these two, these are called components. So like for V, for instance, that would be a horizontal component of 3 and a vertical component of 2. As it turns out, when you add vectors together, you're going to end up adding all the vertical components together and all the horizontal components together, and that's going to end up giving you your final results. So that's what we're going to go on to next in the uh, future videos for this particular section.